I like to think I'm representing a lot of people. If it can happen to somebody with the NBA, it can happen to somebody that works for Procter and Gamble or works for a trucking company and God sure. bless them. So, they'll, they'll bleed you dry. You know, it's the yes. it's the entire system versus particular individuals, which is why we are grateful for those with the courage to fight back. Uh, unfortunately, we're up against the clock. Ken, I want to just um, give you a minute to say, to give any exhortation to our audience, to give any, to give any words, um, uh, anything on your mind to our audience about your situation or the situation in general with regard to these, to these mandates that are really putting people at a crossroads between conscience and being able to survive economically. Well, I don't, I don't put it in context anymore, David, about me. I, I, I say we need people like you and other people that are doing what you're doing, that are getting the word out there, that are trying to help educate people. I, I don't blame anybody for what they chose to do two years ago, three years ago. I don't blame anybody. That, that That's their God-given choice, and I and I would respect whatever, whatever they did then and now. But people like you and people that are doing other shows and people that are standing up and people I, I'm going, I travel around the country. I'm not afraid to say what I think. I'm not afraid to talk about this. I'm begging people to, to just not sit back and not and not say, well, let, let, let David do it or, or let Kenny do it or let, let, let Bobby Kennedy do it or let, let the, that we all have to come together. We have to we have to take care of ourselves. We have to you have to back whatever Kenny Maurer chose to, chose to do. I have to back whatever David Gordon chose to do. Whatever that is, if you chose to take the vaccine or don't take the vaccine, whatever that case, we have religious and medical freedoms in this country. This is about freedom. I'm part of a freedom movement, but this is about freedom. People should be allowed to make decisions for themselves. And I beg people to respect and, and acknowledge and, and promote people that have that feeling. And I want more of those people to come and join guys like you and me, Dave. Sure. That's what I'm praying for. That's what I want to happen. When they do, then we won't, we won't be having conversations like this anymore, David. We'll be fine. That's the whole danger. And I think that's why there is this left-right gulf when it comes to COVID policy. Ultimately, what you see is collectivism versus individualism. And the left has ridden the wave of the COVID pandemic because it allowed them to really use, um, to, to create a a platform for their collectivist ideology um, at the expense of the individual. So there's always been a gulf between left and right about the rights of the individual versus the common good. And of course, we know that the left has put a, a premium on the com uh, on the collective over the individual. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. I think this was very enlightening and it shows just how far uh, institutions are going to muscle people into compliance with the diktats of Big Brother and you know the cronies in the capitalism world. Uh, as we go out, final question, five seconds. Uh, Michael Jordan or LeBron James, who's better? Well, I, I kind of take the same role that Michael does. I think he's I think he's a class act, and he always has been. In different um, times, different uh, Michael played, you know, 15, 20 years ago, LeBron. What a great athlete LeBron was. What I mean, strong, uh, powerful. Um, but, you know, what Mike did and, 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 and the things he did and the, the way he made people better, not that LeBron didn't, but, you know, I, I, I think it's difficult to answer that question because of, you know, how about Oscar Robertson? How about Will Chamberlain? How about... Um, you know, how about Elgin Baylor? How about, you know, all those great players as well um, that we forget to talk about because they were in a different era. But um, it's going to be tough for me to, to, to say anybody but Michael Jordan. He was just uh, special. I worked him his, his whole career, and he was um, he played hard on the floor every night. Not that LeBron didn't. He works hard every night. But um, I think it's, uh, I think, uh, you know, it'd be tough for me to say anybody but Michael Jordan. Sure, and you've seen them both play, so that goes a long way. Ken, thank well, you one so last, much. One, one, last, one last thing I want to say, David, is that this is more than just the COVID. This is spiritual. This is about good versus evil. This is about you know, you know, taking away our faith and and and, and all that. So I, I applaud you for what you do on your show, and so um, please keep doing it, and um, 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 I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks, and likewise, uh, thank you so much for your time, Ken. I think a lot of people are going to get a lot out of this. Uh, God bless you guys. This is David Gordon signing off for Mike Up. I'll see you next week.